Okay, so next what we have here is something called the division algorithm for polynomials. And it's really nothing new that we haven't discussed before. But uh, <coughs> I can show you a couple of examples. And then we will be, we can probably do a couple of examples there. And that's basically, that's basically all that that it is so so basically and we have we have basically discussed this in the previous uh, video so i don't think i don't have to do any sort of uh, do any sort of examples here but let me for example divide let's say that you want divide you want to divide 3x cube plus x squared plus 2x plus 5 and you want to divide that by x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay. So what you do here, you, as we discussed before, you write this as, you write both of these polynomials in decreasing order in standard form. So 3x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 5. And you want to divide that by x squared plus 2x plus 1. So then what you, what you do is basically the highest uh, degree of the variable, basically the term that, the term that contains the highest degree of the variable in this polynomial should be divided by the, by the, by the highest degree, by the term that, that contains the highest degree of the variable in this polynomial. So 3x cubed divided by x squared is, is equal to 3, x raised to the power 1. So 3x raised to the power 1 times x squared is equal to 3x cubed. Now if you if you multiply, you get 3x squared, 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 3x. And if you take the algebraic opposite of all of these terms, these two will cancel out. x squared minus 6x squared is minus 5x squared and x minus 3x is equal to uh, minus 2x plus 5 okay minus 2x and this 5 I, I got it from here okay now again you can do the same thing so negative 5x squared divided by x squared is equal to negative 5 so negative 5 negative 5x squared negative 10x minus 5 take the the algebraic opposite of these you will get these will cancel out negative 2x plus 10x is equal to 8x and these two will cancel out oh i'm sorry 8x plus 10 and 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 this is supposed to be um, 8 minus 2 is equal to 10 minus 2 is equal to 8x. I think I did something wrong here, I suppose. 3x cubed plus x squared plus x plus... Oh, that, that the whole thing was, was actually wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so the, the polynomial is basically this. So this is your, this is your dividend. This is your dividend and this is your divisor. Okay, so you want to, whenever you have some, whenever you have some sort of division, the, the numerator, and then of course you can write this as 3x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay. So, so again, this is your dividend, which is in the numerator, and this is your divisor, and this is your divisor, which is in the denominator. So that's always the case with any kind of division that you might do whether it be division 
involving numbers or polynomials or anything else that you might divide you have some dividend which is which is the which is the numerator of your division and you have some divisor which is the denominator of your division so then you can use long division for example to do this division and that would be 3x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 5 and you want to divide it by x squared plus 2x plus 1 and and so again divide 3x cubed by x squared you'll get 3x so 3x times x squared is equal to 3x cubed 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared and 3x times 1 is equal to 3x and negative 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 so these two will cancel out and then you'll have negative 6x squared plus x squared which is equal to um, negative 6x plus negative 5x squared and then negative 3x plus 2x is equal to negative x plus 5 and this 5 you take it from here so now you have negative 5x squared minus x plus 5 and again you divide negative 5x squared by x squared so you get, you get the negative 5 there you get a negative 5 there and negative 5 times x squared is negative 5x squared negative 5 2x is negative 10x and negative 5 times 1 is equal to negative 5 so if you take the algebraic opposite of these, this is positive, positive, positive. These two will cancel out. 10x minus x is equal to 9x, and then 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. And this is your, this is your remainder. So in this division, as we discussed before, this was your dividend. This was your this thing over here was your divisor okay and this thing over here is your quotient and this thing over here is your remainder okay so now so now what it, what that means is that i can write the i can write the dividend is the same thing as the the dividend is the same thing as is the same thing as the quotient times the divisor quotient times the divisor plus the remainder and and then um, I think have we also talked about the Euclid's division algorithm. I think we did that. Um, and it's, it's kind of something similar to the Euclid's division algorithm, meaning that, um, meaning that you can say that if basically if P of X and G of X are any two polynomials, are any two polynomials with uh, g of x is not equal to zero then we can find then we can find polynomials some basically some two polynomials polynomials q of x for example and r of x sorry and r of x and q is basically as is as stands for quotient and r for remainder such that such that um, p of x is equal to g of x times q of x times q of x uh, plus r of x plus the remainder okay and in this in this basically in this situation over here you see that the that the degree of the 
that the degree of the remainder here is 1, the degree of the divisor here is 2. So the degree of the remainder is always less than uh, less than the degree of the divisor. If, if it's equal, still you cannot basically continue the division. If it's not, you have to stop. There is no way to divide anymore. So, so here you can say where, where, uh, where basically r of x is equal to zero. Either you, either you get a zero remainder, r of x is equal to zero, meaning that the two polynomials are divisible, or basically the degree of r of x, or the or the degree of the degree of r of x is less than the degree of less than the degree of g of x. So this is known as the this is known as the as the division algorithm for polynom for polynomials or the division algorithm. Or polynomials. Okay. Now, now there are countless problems that you can do. Um, So let me find a couple of good problems and then be back with those. Okay, so so we have we have something. I mean, we have some problem over here which involves division and the division algorithm and all of the probably all of the things that we have learned so far. So let's do this example. So we want to find all the zeros. Find all the zeros. Of, of this polynomial. You have 2 x raised to the power 4 minus 3 x cubed minus 3 x raised to the power 2 plus 6 x minus 2. If you know that, if you know that 2 of the zeros, 2 of the zeros are, are negative square root of 2 and positive square root of 2. Okay, so so if you know that, let's call this for example p of x. If you know that two of the zeros are negative square root of two and positive square root of two, then of course you know that any sort of polynomial is is a is is can be expressed as the as the as as a product of some factors, meaning that depending on the depending on the on the on the degree of the polynomial for example if you have a first degree polynomial or a linear polynomial if you have a linear polynomial what happens is that you will get basically one factor for example if you if you think of that if you think of the zeros as for example if the zero here is is for example den denoted by a then the, you can write this polynomial as x minus a, where a can be any zero that you specify here. If you have a quadratic polynomial, okay, so then if you have a quadratic polynomial, then of course the degree is 2, and we said that we have two zeros in the case of, I mean, at most two zeros in the case of quadratic polynomials, and so, so then you can basically express this quadratic polynomial in case of two factors, meaning that x minus a, for example, and x minus b, b and a and b, b being two different zeros of the polynomial. If you have a cubic polynomial, you can write this as, for example, x minus a times x minus b times x minus c, a, b, and c being three different zeros of the polynomial and you can just keep going degree four five six seven and so on and so forth 
So what that means is that what that means is that uh, uh, is that when you have a fourth degree polynomial, you can write it as you can write your p of x as some polynomial. You can write it as some polynomial times two factors. Let's say that this polynomial is of degree two is of degree two and then for and and then since i have a degree two polynomial i need two factors over here i denote them i denote them as x minus a and x minus b for example a being for example negative square root of two and b being square root of two okay so so then I can write this as g of x times x minus, uh, basically, a, for example, x minus a would be x minus negative square root of 2, which would be x plus square root of 2, and the other factor would be x minus the square root of 2. And so that is, that, that, that's how you can express p of x as a product of two factors, two known factors and some unknown polynomia. Now, what that means is that uh, now in order to find out what this g of x is, you can use uh, basically the division. You can you can divide these polynomials, and the way that you can do that is that your basically your p of x is basically known to you. You know what your p of x is, and these two factors you already know them. So your g of x, your g of x is equal to p of x divided by these two factors, x plus square root of 2, x minus square root of 2. Okay? And, and then what that means is that you can, of course, write this as x. Uh, this is, um, you, can, you, can, you can look at this as x minus a times x plus a, which is equal to which is equal to I have actually forgotten this identity so let's see what that is so it's x squared plus ax minus ax um, minus a squared I, so, so it's it's the same thing as is the same thing as a minus b times times a plus b which is the same thing as a squared minus b squared okay so so basically when you have x minus a times x minus x plus a or a minus b times a plus b it's the same thing as a squared minus b squared so x plus the square root of 2 times x minus the square root of 2, you can write it as a squared minus b squared. So x squared minus square root of 2 whole squared, which is equal to x squared minus 2. Okay? So you can write this as, you can write this as p of x, which was, uh, which was 2 raised to the power 4, 2 raised to the power 4 minus 3x cubed plus 6x, minus 2 over over this polynomial here which is x squared minus 2 okay so now what you can do is that you can simply divide to find what your g of x is so in order to divide you have 2 you have 2 x raised to the power 4 minus 3 x cubed plus 6 x minus 2 and you want to divide it by x squared minus 2 so 2x cubed, 2x raised to the power 4 over x squared is equal to 2x squared. 2x squared times x squared is equal to 2x raised to the power 4. 2x squared times negative 2 is negative 4x squared. And uh, I suppose we have made a mistake somewhere over here. No, but there's something wrong here. 
you see the polynomial over here is not in descending order okay so that's why I made a mistake here the, and, and that's actually not right so I, I want to rewrite this thing again so here what we have is my p of x is actually 2 x raised to the power 4 negative minus 3 x raised to the power 2 minus 3 x raised to the power 3 plus 6 x minus 2 and you want to divide that by x squared minus 2 x squared minus 2 okay so that's 2 x raised to the power 4 why did I do it this way I'm sorry 2 x raised to the power 4 minus 3 into x raised to the power 3 minus 3 x raised to the power 3 minus 3 x raised to the power 2 plus 6x minus 2 and you want to divide that by x squared minus 2 okay so now if you do this division 2x raised to the power 4 minus 3x raised to the power 3 minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 2 if you divide it by x squared minus 2 what you will get is 2x raised to the power 4 divided by x squared is 2x raised to the power 2 2x squared times x squared is equal to 2x raised to the power 4 negative 4 uh, negative 4 x raised to the power 2 okay and what you will get is negative positive so these two will cancel out and then you will have um, you will have basically you will have negative 3 x raised to the power 3 and 4x squared minus 3x squared is equal to is equal to 4x squared minus 3x squared is equal to um, x squared so 4x squared minus 3x is x squared okay so now negative 3x cubed divided by x squared is equal to negative 3 negative 3 uh, negative 3x cubed divided by x squared is equal to negative 3x now negative 3x times x squared is equal to negative 3x cubed is equal to negative 3x cubed so negative 3x times x squared is equal to negative 3x cubed and negative 3x times negative 2 is positive 6x is positive 6x so you need to, to you need to actually not lose track of the terms that you haven't used so over here i let me actually start stop here okay so now this division is actually it turns out that this division is a little bit tricky i had to actually do this division a few times i've never actually done this kind of division my whole life so this division is a little bit tricky meaning that uh, it it kind of um, let me start over and tell you what I mean by that so let's let me erase all of these things and erase this thing here and erase this thing here and if you if you suppose you 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 want to divide this polynomial by this polynomial so of course what you do is that um, you, you want to divide 2x raised to the power 4 divided by x squared and that gives you 2x raised to the power 2 so 2x raised to the power 2 times x squared is equal to 2x raised to the power 4 and then you have 2x raised to the power 2 times negative 2 which is equal to negative 4x squared and you have to write it over here okay so you need to you need to now subtract okay 
So in order to subtract, you take the, uh, the algebraic opposite of these, negative, positive, and then these two will cancel out, give you a zero. And then negative 4x squared minus, I'm sorry, positive 4x squared minus 3x squared is equal to some just x squared. So now these terms, this term over here, this term over here and this term over here has been have been already used in calculation so you you're done with that so the next thing that you want to do is usually normally what you what you what you do what you do is that you would bring down a bring down another term of the polynomial and of course you have to bring down the largest term or the highest value term that you can find in the polynomial which is basically this thing over here. So you write this as negative 3x cubed plus x squared. Okay. And now you now now you ha you can do the second stage of your calculation, which is negative 3x cubed by x squared, which gives you negative 3x. So negative 3x times x squared is going to give you negative 3x raised to the power 3 and then negative 3x times 2 is equal to negative positive 6x. So positive 6x. So now over here what you need to do is that um, <coughs> what you kind of need to basically do the do this can you can we can basically subtract 6x from 6x over here and um, I mean that that that's basically allowed there is no problem with that so you subtract this negative 3x cube from this negative 3x cube and if you take the algebraic opposite of these things you will have uh, basically uh, you will have these two will cancel out and then these two will cancel out okay this is kind of not something standard that you would do but you can you can actually do it there is no problem with that and from this part of the 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 the, the, the operation remains a remains an x squared and then you can bring down this negative two and then you have x squared minus two here you have x squared minus two so there you have a one and then 1 times x squared minus 2 is x squared minus 2 and then you would have a 0 there so then your your basically your quotient is going to be this polynomial over here it's a little bit tricky and messy but and and i and i've never actually seen any anything like this before because usually your polynomials are more are cleaner than than that meaning that in the polynomial that we had here we had a second degree uh, we had the second basically power of x and then a zeroth power of x for example something like a two so since there is since there is a whole lot in between that has been omitted here then you will get this kind of that you would get that that kind of messy calculation that we got so now um, so now basically this is the this is your quotient that means that g of x is equal to this thing over here 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 so you can you can you can therefore you can write p of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 times x plus square root of 2 times x minus square root of 2 and then all you need to do is basically factorize this polynomial here so this polynomial is basically you can basically look for two numbers a and b such that a times b is equal to 2 and a plus b is equal to negative 3 and um, that, that would be 1 and 2 negative 1 negative 2 so you can write this as 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 and then you can write it as 2x squared minus x minus 2x plus 1 and then you can write this as you can take these two together take it take it to a negative 2 or a or a 2x out take a 2x out 
and you would get x minus 1 and here take a negative 1 out and then between these two and you would get a uh, x minus 1 and x minus 1 times 2x minus 1 okay so you can now rewrite this polynomial as x minus 1 times 2x minus 1 um, times 2x minus 1 times x plus square root of 2 times x minus square root of 2 and that is your p of x now I actually forgot what I wanted to do here so what we wanted to do is so now all the zeros if you want to find all the zeros of this polynomial you said p of x is equal to 0 that means that that means that x minus 1 times 2x 2x minus 1 times x plus square root of 2 times x minus square root of 2 is equal to 0 and that means that x either x minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x plus square root of 2 is equal to 0 or x minus square root of 2 is equal to 0 and here that means x is equal to 1 this is 2x this is 2x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 by 2 here your x is equal to negative square root of 2 here your x is equal to positive square root of 2 so these are the four the zeros of this of this polynomial and you can always check with the graph as well so let's say that let's say that you have uh, you can always check your graph for example desmos.com is a great calculator you can always use it it's you, you can use it free of cost for personal uses for personal for for personal purposes you can use it online and the 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 uh, the polynomial is f of x for example is equal to 2x raised to the power 4 minus minus 3x cubed minus 3x squared plus 6x minus 2 and you can see that this is going to be the shape of the graph of your polynomial so this is the the the, the the minimum of your polynomial minimum of the graph and then you have one two three so this is 1.414 which is square root of two this is positive one this is 0 0.5 which is half and this is negative 1.414 which is negative square root of two and we had half over here as well i suppose yes half positive 1 square root of 2 and negative square root of 2 which is basically all of the zeros which are basically the x coordinate of the points where the where the graph of the polynomial goes through the x-axis as you can see over here and uh, there are different names for example for these points over here for this point this point and for also for this point over here i suppose this point has some specific meaning in the context of the of, the, of this polynomial but we will we will get to all of those things in the uh, following video in the in the in the videos that we'll have in the future about polynomials not not in these uh, not in these uh, basically exercises and we have basically a um, we can do a couple more exercises here regarding division and other things and we are actually 
and with that we are actually done with polynomials at this with this part of the polynomials i'll take a few minutes rest and i'll be back with the with a couple of exercises here and we will uh, uh, we will uh, we will continue with this